Hey, welcome to Envelope, where we play a rather unfortunate bloke who finds himself being pushed into doing things he would never believe he would be. Rather ominous synopsis, but that's what got me to download the demo. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to play this demo. I thought this looked very good. The I really like the retro-y uh, style of horror games. They, so far, have never failed me. So, I hope you like this, and if you do, give it a thumbs up. And you can also play the demo if you like. Ooh. Another day at work. I sure as hell hope I can find another job soon. This job sucks. All right, it's eleven fifty-seven. I better get in there, even though this job sucks. I've never been, I've never been late. Better keep it that way. Yep, never be late, no matter what your job is. Turn up and do the job. Crunchy footsteps. Toilet. Hot dogs. What are we doing? What am I doing? What's my job? Hello. Boss! Ah, there you are. Two minutes early, I see. I would commend you for your punctuality, but you're not the only one who has things to do. Oh, well, that's lovely. Speaking of which, your tasks are written on the wall in the back. Put on your cap and get to work. In the words of football god Timothy... Timothy who? I'm, I don't talk about football, I have no idea. Uh, I didn't come this far only to be eaten by sheep. So for, the, for so for next time, try five minutes early at least. You can do that, huh? No, I fucking can't. I'm not getting paid to be fucking early. Pick up work cap from your locker. Arsehole. <laughs> Got me cap. Pick up soda cans. Restock soda. Clean floor. Throw old newspaper. Take out trash, clean table. Huh? Who are these in? I see. Uh, pick up mop and clean the floor. Yeah. Here's one coming in. For oh, fuck's sake. Uh, I'm busy. You're making a mess of my floor. Oh, of course not. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. What do you want? Uh, hey. My name is Truck Driver Johnson. You may know me from my channel name, Truck Driver Johnson. If you don't, that's fine. No, I don't. I don't know who you are. I'm out here on the road. Anyway, I'd like some chocolate bar, please. I like the chocolate bar, okay. Oh. Bye then. I did to really. Okay. Right. So far, so good. Our list. Throw old newspaper. Old newspaper. I didn't see any newspapers. Is it? What the hell was that? The man moves erratic. Oh, it's not him. The man moves erratically. He seems to be completely inside his own mind. 
mumble something unintelligible. Yeah, like most men. Just think what they say is intelligible. All the zero. Take out trash. Strange. Put trash bag in container outside. I not go out this door. It's not. Right, I'll go around then, I like walk all the way around. Container outside. You stand there and do anything weird. I run. I can run. What are you doing? Phew, I just had a patient die at my table. A bloody mess to say the least. Give me a hot dog, would you? Oh, and just for information, from what I can tell, you know, with my trained eye, there's a delinquent drug user right outside the gas station. Yeah, I've seen him, mate. I have deduced... Oh, what are you, fucking Sherlock? This, I've deduced this due to the individual's cellular being off-coloured, slightly tinted towards a yellow colour. This hints of prolonged use of alcohol. Yeah, well, thanks! But, you know, not my fucking problem. His pupils are also extremely large, which hints at methamphetamine use. Told you I was good. Does it hurt to suck your own dick? Anyway, I just thought you should know. Yeah, thanks. No, I don't care. Where's a hot dog? Well, I'd get it if you weren't blowing your own fucking horn. I've got to go around. You could get your own hot dog. It's right there. Oh, it's not right there. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, there's your lovely hot dog. I hope we don't give you the shits. You probably will. Uh, clean table. Sponge. Right, okay. Ah. Oh. What are you doing by my table? Get out. What are you doing? The man mumbles. The letter. This was where the guy said he would be, right? Right? The gas station on the road, right? I don't know, mate. It looks completely fixated on the table. Is he looking at the stains? No. Ah! Don't shout at me! Hey. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Did I scare you? Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? It's just that I like those stains. So please leave them. Who's attached to stains? I know you have a job to do, but the customer is always right, right? I'm sure you're a good guy, but I just... Just leave the goddamn stains! I should leave this guy alone. I kind of, I kind of want to clean the stains. I want to see what, I want to see what he would do. Well, I can't clean them. Uh, right now what? Fucking weird. Oh, fucking. That symbol wasn't there earlier. I was just about to say that.
Oh, get out! What do you want? Hey, I know I'm probably not supposed to be here. No, you're not. But the stains helped me realise something. It's you! He's pointing at me. Fuck. What's he gonna do? I need to find some way to call the police. But if I reach for my phone, he might attack. Better try to stay calm and look for an opportunity. Find the man who works his station, and you shall find salvation. That's what the man told me. It has to be you. I'm not the only station in the country. But forget all that nonsense, okay? All that talk of salvation bullshit. I don't care, okay? That guy was sat sacked. That guy was stacked. He had a whole bag of goodies for me, okay? That's all I care about. Do you understand? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like that look. Well, because you're fucking weird! Oh god, what do I do? Should I look down? If I reach for my phone now, he's definitely going to attack. I have to say something. I have no problem with you, okay? How about you just hand over the letter to me, and then you can go and get salvation? No, you idiot! No one ever listens to me. I don't care about all the new age spiritualist crap. I just want what's promised. Do you understand? No. I've never understood anything less. Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Please, just give me the letter and you can go. I don't want to get hurt. The man seems to be satisfied with the response and takes out the letter from his back pocket and hands it over to you. There, my job is done. This was the easiest thing I've ever done for some dope. What an idiot this guy was. I think you're the probably the idiot. Anyway, I'm out of here. But if I see you again, I will cut your head off for giving me that weird look earlier. Do you understand? Oh my god. Yes, I understand. Do you wish to open the envelope? Yes, I fucking do. You open the envelope carefully. The letter reads as following. Dear Mr. MC, we hope this letter has found its way safely into your hands. Based on the fact that you are reading these words at this very moment, it is safe to say it has. You see, this letter is for your eyes only. Right now, your head is probably filled with questions, so we will do you a courtesy by relieving you of this burden. You are very special, Mr. MC. You see, you have been selected. Selected for what? Another question. Well, here is the answer. You are to do a job, a very important job, one in which your success will decide the fates of those around you. The reading of this letter is the most important moment of your life, and you must choose carefully what to do. There is a man by the name of Mr. Shiramanesh. He must die. Tonight, at your hands. Exactly how you execute this mission is up to you. As long as you get it done, we are happy. A man shall await for your arrival near the convenience store named Reb. Reb. Something. Reb. He will equip you with a loaded firearm and a lockpick. Just in case you need a dash of motivation, we know your girlfriend, Amanda. She is very pretty. The way she spends her days in the park, looking at people walking by, simply angelic. She dies should you fail. Like that, we won't take up more of your time. Look at the back of the letter for more information. On the back side of your letter, you find information about Miss Mr. Sheer as well as map showing the path of his villa. I really don't want anything to happen to my Amanda. I don't think I have any choice but to listen to these guys. I don't want anything to happen. Oh yeah, I better get, better get into my car and find this weapons guy. Uh, right, fair enough. I'll kill whoever needs to be killed. We're going to leave the door open, are we? We're going to get fucking sacked. I feel a sneeze brewing. This is your moment under the moonlight. Amanda. Can you do it? Will you fail like most? Ooh, the drama. A game by Scar Game Productions and Noom.
I'm sorry, Mr. Shear. You're dead, pal. Tonight you die. Huh. B. So that we may live. Envelope. Thank you for playing the envelope demo. Full game will be out in the first half of 2024. Help us, please consider wishlisting it. I have wishlisted it. You can also wishlist it. Uh, that was very good. It was a nice little taster of what's to come. I Like I said at the start, I love the retro-y uh, horror games. And I think this is going to be very good. I very much enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there is. And I will see you in the next video, which I think will also be a horror demo. So I'll see you next time. You're up.